So, kicking off the first video uh, on the Man and Machine YouTube channel on 2013, um, we've got a little bit of Autodesk showcase, and what I want to show you today is something that um, I've had a tip from one of the Autodesk uh, technical guys, so thanks to me, um, about adding pop ups to your models within showcase. Um, so, what I've done in um, I've got the standard Technicon um, sample file open inside a showcase. And what I've done inside of Inventor, just to show you, is create a very simple assembly. It's essentially a rectangle um, split into three sections. Alongside that, I have uh, created an image just using PowerPoint with three alloy wheel options on there and just saved that out to a PNG file. So just to show you my workspace, I've got my PNG file, obviously my showcase file, um, all my showcase related files and my inventor related files. So all this is going to do is inside showcase it allows me to go into the presentation mode um, and start using hotspots and triggers um, to make things happen. So for example if I just take uh, a look at presentation mode now, just go into presentation mode, if I select this alloy wheel, what it would do is it would give me a nice animation, give me a pop-up and change my view. Once I'm in that pop-up, I can actually go ahead and start changing the wheels. So let's change to classic wheels and just click close. That essentially reverses the animation and takes us back to where we were. Um, I haven't animated every wheel, but I can just click the rear wheel to show you it does exactly the same thing. And let's just go ahead and change to the sport wheels or perhaps back to the standard wheels. Um, I quite like the classic wheels, so I'm going to go back to the classic wheels and click close. Obviously being showcased, this works in every, inside of every single environment um, with every single um, configuration of this model, so it's very good. And essentially all it's doing is it's taking advantage of both the keyframes um, animations, as you can see here. Let's just take a look at the properties. Take it out of presentation mode and have a little look at the properties just to show you what it's doing. So we've just got three keyframe animations with two keys. That's the animation of the pop-up coming out from the wheel. We have trigger points set up. So one for each of the alloy wheel, one on each of the uh, on the wheel itself to bring the pop-up up, and one on the close button. And literally all it's doing is when you click on that alloy wheel, it's starting this storyboard, which is playing the uh, animation to open the pop-up. It's turned the pop-up it, pop itself on and it's changing the view. From there, the triggers um, on the images of the wheels literally link straight back to my alloy wheel um, alternatives. So there's nothing clever. Um, it just uh, it, it makes your showcase models look that little bit nicer. Um, the ability to perhaps go in and, and open up a car bonnet, for example, and then click on um, a section of the car bonnet and, and change a part out for something else. It just gives you another way to show off your, your files when you're in front of customers um, showing them your products. So I hope that's been useful. What I'll do is I'll, I'll put together a full step-by-step -step on how to get this set up. Um, it's relatively straightforward, but it's a little bit time-consuming. So we'll get that together in, uh, in the next few days, and uh, I'll send that out. 